Do you own a small business but aren't sure where to start with marketing as you grow? Here are some of the best ways to get started on marketing your small business. All right, let's start at the beginning. First, you wanna have a clear revenue plan. What does that mean? You wanna have a 12 month plan that shows you exactly how much revenue you're going to bring in every single month. And you don't want that revenue plan to be stagnant. In other words, if you're at 20,000 a month, you wouldn't be at 20,000 a month for the entire year unless you planned on your business not growing. So maybe it's at 20,000, then it's at 25,000, then it's at 30,000, and you can just see this revenue plan showing you how your revenue is gonna grow over time. The other thing you wanna look at is, is your revenue plan expansive? As I mentioned, you don't want it to be stagnant in certain months or have the same amount every single month. You want it to expand over time. So I highly recommend having a stretch goal most of the clients who show up in our world want to 2x their revenue. So if you're at 10,000 a month, you want to be at 20,000. If you're at 20,000, you want to be at 40,000. So you want to build that revenue model to show you exactly how to get there. Once you do that, once you have your plan for the next 12 months, you can reverse engineer your marketing plan from your revenue model, from what you've projected out. The easiest way to do that is to create what I like to call a model month template. So. This is where you're going to take one specific month and break it out so you can see what your intentional sales formula is. So for example, let's use simple math. So if you want to hit 10,000 a month, for example, and your average sale is $1,000, you're going to need 10 sales every month to get there. Okay. If your closing ratio is 50%, meaning half the prospects who meet with you become new clients, let's take the 10 times two, which equals 20, you're going to need 20 leads every month to reach your goal. Now, yes, I'm oversimplifying this, but I do find that most people overcomplicate this. This is an exercise I definitely want you to do today. Once you finish watching this video, come back to this part and go through it again. Go through this process so you can determine exactly how many leads you need every single month to get there. Now, when people start to get clarity on, oh, I, I need 20 leads a month, okay, that's great. The next question is, okay, great, Ursula, how in the heck am I going to get 20 leads a month? Here's the thing to remember. There's not a million ways to market. It might feel like it sometimes, but there's really not. Like if you think about all the ways to market, there's a few, right? Maybe it's cold calling, maybe it's warm calling, so maybe it's picking up the phone. Or it could be sending direct mailers, which can work for some industries. For others of you, especially if you're in a service-based business, you wanna be out networking or building relationships with other people, which often doesn't cost you very much other than your time. Beyond that, you could put some ads up if that works in your industry, although I don't recommend doing that until you're super clear on how to bring leads in in more direct marketing ways like going to networking groups or just building relationships. So overall, I mean, there's, there's just not a million ways for you to market. I want you to figure out the three ways that you can market consistently. This is a piece that I think most business owners miss or they forget about. Or when they go back to it, they think, oh yeah, that was working really well before. So right now, how many ways have you been marketing? And then look at those ways and how many of those ways have you been marketing consistently? And I mean for like a year or more. Because if you're not marketing consistently, people don't have an opportunity to get to know you, to like you, to trust you. They don't get an opportunity to connect with you. So it's very challenging for them to decide whether or not they can work with you. And so if this is an area that you're stuck, I want you to really stretch here. Think of the three ways that you'd like to market, okay? So for some of you, maybe it is social media. Maybe you love to do Facebook Lives and that works great for you. Okay, let's write that down. For others of you, maybe you have a podcast but you haven't really been making an offer on the podcast or giving away a free gift so people can't connect with you from the podcast. So maybe it's adding a free gift. Maybe it's being on, interviewed on other people's podcasts. Maybe you wanna speak on stages. Maybe you wanna get more involved with networking, right? Like there's a myriad of ways that you could do it. But I want you to think, what are the three ways that you would be most inspired, most motivated to market? Because if you're not inspired to do it, if you're not motivated to do it, you won't do it. And you definitely won't do it consistently. And that's what kills most sales. If as you're thinking about this, you're feeling even more stuck or you've written a few ways down, you're like, yeah, I, I, I enjoy speaking in front of people. So that's one thing I could do. I love networking or I love meeting new people. So I could do that. I like being interviewed on other people's podcasts, but beyond that, I feel really stuck. Okay. Write down at least three ideas. Okay. From there, I want to give you the 50 idea strategy. 
This is a strategy that I heard from Brian Tracy years ago, and I've heard it from other people since then. There's a lot of research that's been done about the power of coming up with 50 ideas and how powerful it is because there's gold on that list. So taking the three ways that you'd like to market, I want you to expand on each one of them until you have a list of 50 ideas, a list of 50 ways that you could market using those three strategies. So you're taking the three and turning it into 50 ideas. So for example, if you want to be on interviewed on podcasts, one of the, you know, maybe 10 of those 50 ideas would be on podcasts that you could be interviewed on, for example, or if you want to do more networking, maybe come up with five to 10 places that you could network. If you want to be on more stages, come up with five to 10 more places that you could be speaking. You see what I'm saying? So take those three ideas and turn it into 50 ways that you can market. And I guarantee that when you do that, you're going to find gold on that list, especially in your top five to 10 ideas. Now, here's the thing. And as a coach to many business owners, in fact, I've coached thousands of businesses. What I find is that it's easy to stop, especially when it comes to marketing. It's easy to just stop doing the marketing. And we find that people stop doing the marketing when when they're frustrated, right? And when it doesn't seem like the marketing is working, but they also stop when business is really good. And of course that has a challenge as well. Whenever someone doesn't have leads coming in, I always ask, what were you doing 90 days ago to market? And often they weren't doing anything or they were really busy in their business and marketing got pushed to the wayside. The thing I want you to remember is once you have your three ways to market, you can't stop. You have to keep going. You have to keep marketing. You have to keep testing. I can tell you that is the reason I am still in business today is because I have been extremely disciplined about figuring out how to continue to market my company. And what I'm doing today is not what I was doing five years ago, right? Marketing shifts, marketing changes. There are some things that still work well. Like for me, traditional marketing has always worked. Traditional marketing when it comes to building relationships, making calls, having meetings, connecting with people, building referral partners, those things still work really well in my company. I still do them to this day. But what I don't do is I don't stop my marketing. I'm always thinking about how we can be putting the company out there, how we can be inviting people into our world because my why is bigger than my fear about marketing or my fear of being out there. And my why is all about helping business owners shift their limiting beliefs so that they can make as much money as they want to live an amazing life and give back to the organizations they care about. That's my why. And that's why I won't stop. And I want to encourage you in this moment, if you're feeling stuck, or maybe you've just had a couple of bad months, this is not the time to stop. This is the time to double down on your marketing, whatever it takes, keep marketing, keep putting yourself out there. Today, we talked about the power of marketing your small business and the importance of creating a clear revenue plan so that you can reverse engineer your marketing plan from your projections for the next 12 months. I walked you through how to create a model month template and figure out your intentional sales formula. So you know exactly how many leads you need every month. We also talked about creating 50 ideas with the top three ways that you're going to be marketing. You can create a plan to be out there consistently over the next few months so that your business can get to that next level. If you like this video, stick with me because next up, we're going to talk about how social media marketing helps a business grow and how it can help your business grow. And remember your two X is waiting for you too. 